Well, the best thing about the show is the host, John Taffer. This is John Taffer. John Taffer. He really has spent his life focusing on people that make excuses. This is a really good friend of mine, a good personal friend of mine as well. Excuses, to me, are the common denominator of failure because they paralyze us. When we give an excuse, it really rationalizes a mistake. When you give an excuse, either it's because you didn't do something you should have, you did something you shouldn't have, or you made a bad choice, or you would never use the excuse in the first place, Phil. Svetlana Petrochenkov. Depends on who you are. You look like one giant Italian sausage. Really? My name is John Taffer and I'm here to rescue this shithole. I watch some reality TV and uh, one of my favorite shows is called Bar Rescue. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen this show, but I've I really, seen it, yeah. I really like that program. Uh, take a clip, uh, look at this clip from the show. John Taffer has transformed literally hundreds of bars and nightclubs overnight. But can he do the same for small family operated petting zoos? That's one question we forgot to ask. This is Heading to Rescue. I'm going in and shutting this stuff down. You're running your petting zoo like a goddamn zoo. We have a bar here at the show in our green room that needed a little work, so we called the star of Bar Rescue. Jimmy, this green room is 10 years old and it looks it. I'm gonna use proven bar sciences to make you the coolest green room in town. What do you think? Now it's a real bar. Wow. I really did a good job here. Quick. So, the lower the lights, the higher the price. Right. The higher the lights, the lower the price. <laughs> the good faster one. the waiter it's works, true. the lower the price. <laughs> the slower he walks, the higher the price. Number two, the long pour. This is what we call the long pour. What you think is the long pour. I give you a look, how are you? That real special look. A little twinkle Let in your eye. Let me take care of you. Right, I put my bottle up. Wow. Long pour. You think you got a lot? You didn't. When you lift that arm, you create the illusion of quantity. It's such an honor. I, full disclosure, I am a huge fan of this show. I watch marathons. I ignore my children to see this show. It's an incredible thing. And people who see that are gonna think you go in and you scream at people and all that. But there's a lot more to this show. One thing I can't fix is integrity. Mm -hmm. And one time, it was called the O-Face Bar, I had an owner who was violent with his employees. I saw that one. Yeah. And I walked out because we won't perpetuate that. Right. But other than integrity, you know, I take the challenge to fix anything. I'd never heard of this, the butt funnel. Yes. It's not what you think it is, audience. <laughs> what is it? Explain that. Many a marriage has occurred because of the butt funnel. <laughs> okay. The butt funnel is about a 30-inch opening to walk onto a dance floor. So as you and I are approaching the dance floor, I like you, I see you, I wanna connect with you. So as we approach, Meredith, you have a decision to make. Right. Do you go through front to front with me? Oh. Or do you turn around and go back to back with me? Oh. So at that moment, our eyes connect, we meet. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're right against each other. <laughs> <laughs> you help out bar owners who, well, they're just a mess. So Gwen and I, and I'm sure a lot of folks out there, need a rescue. So you and my son Jay have come up with a way for us to be part of the in crowd, even if we don't drink. So tell us what the story is here. So even if you don't drink alcohol, you still want to have fun. Yeah, we drink, we just don't drink alcohol. But you still want great flavors, robust right. flavors, so we wanted to kick it up a little bit and create a bunch of cocktail mixers that don't have all the sweet syrups, all the colors, all the chemicals in them, that you can enjoy them with or without alcohol, it's great either way. I'm gonna pause it, and you'll have to guess how the drink turns out. <laughs> this is spill it or kill it. <laughs> all right, let's take a look. Here's the first video. Spill it. That's a spill it for sure. Assuming that he doesn't burn himself before it spills. <laughs> you know right away, spill it. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go, let's see. <laughs> what the hell? I went to McNally's and fixed it for us. What did you do? I painted it orange killed the craft beers, made fruity cocktails with frickin' umbrellas. You sick bastard. Whiskey sour. Too much mix, 
not enough ice. Cheers. When Ford asked me to talk about their new 2016 medium-duty truck, I was surprised. But when they told me the points they wanted to make, I got it. I may not know trucks, but I know what makes businesses tick. And it comes down to smart business decisions. And that's what I'm going to tell their customers. So I come out and say hey and bring this lug with me here. <laughs> so uh, you guys know John, right? You've seen him. And, uh, you love Bar Rescue? Yeah. yeah it's great. He watches. <laughs> no, I binge watch. Robin and I binge watch the show, and she gets so mad at these people. It's like, she's, get him, John! Yes. 